Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I want to show you how you can cut or add time with Time Tuner in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, Time Tuner has been in Premiere Pro for years and it was added for the world of broadcast. So I never really felt it was worthwhile doing a tutorial in uh, for YouTube till someone I know who makes streaming shows um, had to cut out part of a show. And uh, I told them Time Tuner will do that automatically, plus or minus 10% of a show. And 10% can be a huge amount of, of savings or addition to a program that's, you know, 30 minutes long or an hour or longer. So I'm going to show you an example where I have a 26 minute interview with Ben Mossman, who is a visual effects supervisor. I'll put a link in the description uh, where I interviewed Ben and I trimmed off 10% and you can't see it. So what happens is, and this isn't just speed the whole thing up globally because then you'd sound like a chipmunk. What happens is this algorithm looks for motion that where there's no motion or low motion, low action, and it adds or, or subtracts frames. So you cannot tell the difference. I'll play this back. I watched the whole thing, uh, 10% uh, uh, removed and I and I edited the darn thing and I'm in it and I couldn't tell. So I'm going to show you where it is and then lo we'll look at an example. So he here I've got my program and the length is 26 minute, 18 seconds, 29 frames. And when you export, it's in the effects section. So if you go down to Time Tuner and turn that on, you'll see the options for Time Tuner. So there's the current duration, there's the target duration, or you can change by percent. So what I did was I typed negative 10, because if you just type 10, it's gonna add 10. So the new duration will be 23 minutes, 41 seconds. And for broadcast, being able to stick in more commercials, yeah, I know, but that's why this was made was to to allow people to take a you know an old movie and stick it in there and squeeze a little bit more time out of it. So it's going to look at at like I said at the the uh, low motion or no motion is what Adobe calls it. Now there's a, a button down here to skip slates, um, and it says don't apply time tuner on slates. So a series of still images with a common combined duration of longer than 10 seconds. So if you're typically holding up a slate at the beginning, you're holding it up for a little bit of time, uh, it's gonna realize that and, and not touch that, leave that, that alone. There's not a lot of motion going on, but don't touch the slides. And of course, um, I'm just gonna leave that off. Now here in preset use, you get to choose whether you're going to save the target duration or duration change. So you could save this as a, uh, a preset. So back up in the top, um, save that as a preset. And, and that's what that means, that you get to pick whether it's the duration or the target duration. Uh, I, I think that makes sense if it's a percentage, but if it's a target, well, I guess it makes sense for, for both because some people will have a fixed target length, you know, 22 minutes is what they want to hit. So you could do that, save the preset and call it uh, 22 minute, whatever. Okay, so you just basically, that's it. You just hit that and then you export this out and you won't see the results in here, but once you export it, you will see the results um, in the final output. So let's look over here in my project panel. This is the sequence that we're looking at here. And this is my export. So you can see right there, 2341. And when I open that up, um, I'm just going to go to playing this back. For like editing and post-production in general. Um, and it's not like you can notice with, you know, any speech. <laughs> Um, Wars, my markers Wars, are, are all in the right place. Magic or any of those Tippet Studios way back. Mm -hmm. in 
uh, storm in it. Uh, that's in the trailer. But you can't so, tell. Uh, yeah, that that took us. I mean, that it totally removed. Wreaked a little bit of havoc on our schedule, but it took us, you know, months and months to get that right. And ten percent of that. Um, but I mean, like even physical challenges, like just shooting in Ireland. Uh, and I just stuck it up here on the top of this track, so you can see the com the comparison. That's where this show ends here, and that's where this show ends here. That's a big difference, that whole area in here. Now, most people will, will not be taking 10% out. I just wanted to see, what if I crank that, that thing up? How odd would it look? And it, it looks perfect. The algorithm is flawless. It's imperceptible. You cannot notice when you've put that squeeze on the time tuner. That's why there's a limit on the time tuner. Time tuner doesn't say 50%. Um, it's 10% for it to work without you seeing any uh, visual changes. And this isn't going to make a difference on a, a you know a five second clip. You're not going to take that much off of it. But in a larger program, it sure does work. So. I thought this was useful because now more people are starting to make uh, uh, media for, for that, you know, aren't just on the big broadcast stations anymore. They're making it for a lot of different places. This is used in broadcast all the time. That's where it was developed. Uh, Adobe put tons of research and development into, into this and worked with broadcasters. So that's the quality we're talking about here, not YouTube quality, broadcast quality, and it meets their standards. and. You don't see it all the time. That's how much it's used. We're just watching stuff and it's used to squeeze in a little extra commercial here and there. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once, monthly, any amount. Thanks to all of our wonderful donors. There's tons of free stuff for you to download. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to listen to the conversations I have with uh, video um, editors out there and uh, realize something that wasn't useful before is very useful now to even more people, including you.